Hello, this is Rob Cornish from GainHighGround.com. I hope you're well and welcome to Hampstead Heath. I wanted to bring you up here today because it's just a beautiful day in London. It's about 29 degrees Celsius, which I guess is around 83, 84 Fahrenheit. Even though it's the last day in September, I really thought the English weather had uh, kind of packed up for 2011. But yet again, it surprised me and uh, we're really having a great, uh, a great spell of weather. So I wanted to bring you up here and also show you uh, one of my favourite parts of Hampstead Heath. We're only about two miles north of central London and uh, about 20 minutes walk from my house, so that's why I come here a lot. And um, really, this, this place I want to show you is just usually got a fantastic view of the city of central London. So um, hopefully today will be the same. Let's have a look at that. And then after then, um, I'm going to run home and um, we'll get onto the computer and I'd just like to share some information with you um, about internet marketing that I think you'll find really valuable. Right, so here we are, this is Parliament Hill. A lot of people here today, um, probably because of the weather. Many of them bunking off from work, no doubt, but uh, never mind. And uh, this is the view I was talking about. Um, this is basically pretty much the most of London or central London so let's start over here just to give you an idea we're sort of two miles kind of north of the city centre so we're looking south here and if I zoom in you can see Canary Wharf which um, used to be the sort of Docklands area and uh, now it's really a financial um, district with lots of investment banks and then if we go over you can see this is the city it's called and that's the um, really the old historic financial district so still lots of um, big um, financial institutions and um, you know insurance companies and all of that and then just over here if you have a look carefully I'll try and zoom in you can see the top of St Paul's Cathedral and behind that is um, a new building which is actually south of the river so that's south of the River Thames and that's called the Shard of Glass and uh, somebody told me the other day that's going to be the tallest building in Europe apparently but um, it certainly does look um, pretty tall already they're still building it and then if we go finally over here this is pretty much the West End so uh, if you ever come to uh, London go to the theatres go out to bars and clubs and that kind of thing that's where this is um, that's where you'll be sort of down here so there you go um, I just wanted to give you that view it's pretty good today although a little bit hazy um, and um, that's it Parliament Hill so let's run back or I'll probably walk back to uh, to base and um, we'll jump onto the computer right so here we are on the computer and I know sometimes it's very easy to get bogged down in really just the, the the small details that we need to do in our online business so what I wanted to do here was just take a step back and have a look at the whole process but also give you a, a few little examples and pointers as we go through this process and I've called this the make money online checklist so here we go right the first thing is to find a niche okay so this is a small but profitable marketplace out there on the internet. Now three things you can do to do this is uh, go to dummies.com. If you see a dummies guide then um, there is actually a great chance that that niche is profitable because these guys do a lot of research before they release a book. You can look at uh, magazines.com. Uh, if there's a magazine devoted to a particular area then you know that's a great chance it's profitable as well and also if you go to kickstartprofits.com you can grab my totally free um, ebook which is um, 101 profitable niches analyzed and that will give you literally 101 uh, different ideas okay to get you brainstorming the next thing is to create a website now there's no doubt about it WordPress is by far the best solution for this um, if you're wondering how you go about doing it well it's actually very straightforward and I've recorded a full video which guides you through the exact process so I'll put a link to that um, below uh, this video um, in the blog post next you need to create a free gift this is kind of 
uh, also known as a lead magnet. It's an enticement or an encouragement, if you like, for people to sign up and become one of your subscribers. Now, there's many different things you can have. I recommend keeping it simple, start off with an ebook. They work well in many, many different niches. It doesn't have to be very long, seven or eight pages is absolutely fine to start with. And then going forward, you can actually develop it and add more to it and make it even more valuable. Um, if you're wondering, can't think of anything to write about, go to Google, type in the name of your uh, niche. So if you're doing uh, kickboxing, for example, you type in kickboxing and then type in free report. Okay, click search and then click on images, and you'll see a lot of different uh, images of free reports that are out there. And that was a great way to figure out what kind of things that people are interested in um, in your particular marketplace. Next thing is you need to set up your list. I really highly recommend Aweber which I'll put a link to below uh, this video. Um, and uh, that's got everything you need, a very, very cost effective. Um, there's almost a, a virtual free trial, I think, vi virtually, so like a dollar or something like that, to, to get started with and to test out. It's really a great system, but that will do everything you need to collect your subscribers, manage your database, and send out emails, actually on autopilot, and that's course what an autoresponder is so once you get this set up it's really on autopilot the next thing is to find affiliate uh, products to promote that should say products not products and um, you can do this in a number of different places again you can search Google if you type in the name of your niche and then um, affiliate program for example that will bring up some opportunities and there are other other places as well such as clickbank.com uh, which is very very easy to get started on and the beauty of this is you don't have to do any kind of uh, customer service create your own product um, you don't have to worry about refunds or taking payments it's all done for you you just simply uh, pre-sell or, or send your subscribers to an offer uh, some of them will buy and you earn a commission so it's a really great way to get started quickly making money online the next thing is get traffic okay and that's a, obviously a huge area um, there's many many different great traffic strategies uh, out there many of which I've used myself um, but just to give you a feel um, guest posting is an awesome way I've literally driven you know tons of traffic using that that's where you write an article and you get it published on somebody else's blog. You might be wondering how you do that. Well, um, there are many different ways, but one simple way, go to Google, type in in um, speech marks, write for us, okay? So in speech marks, you type in write for us, and then the name of your niche. So it might be, say, kickboxing, to use that same example again. And often you'll find websites that invite um, um, actual articles to be submitted. So you can spend 30 minutes or so writing an article, make it good quality, um, you can put a link in, at the bottom of that article back to your website, get it posted on high traffic blogs and people will come back to you. I've literally, with one guest post, I've literally generated hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, visitors to my website, literally in a sort of day or two. So guest posting, definitely one, a uh, great one. Blog commenting as well, so go around, find other blogs in your area, um, make value added comments. Um, it's a great way to get to know other people who might be able to help you in your marketplace, but also it does drive traffic as well, particularly if you focus on important high traffic blogs and um, you actually do it consistently okay so don't just do it for a couple of days and give up you need to do it for a few days and then the next week you do it for a few days and keep going and it does work forums are another great way so you can go and find forums in your uh, marketplace um, and also say uh, meetups as well so if you go to meetup.com um, that's a great place to go and find um, people who are interested in your particular area and when you get to know them after a while you develop these relationships you know make new friends as well uh, it's great to get ideas but also further down the line who knows they might have a really uh, a blog with a big subscriber list uh, and they may, um, w might want to actually promote one of your products okay so you get instant floods of traffic 
Now there's tons of traffic methods, but again, this is kind of an overview, so I just want to touch on those little details. Now, of course, the crucial part of this uh, process is building your list. That's how the vast majority of people out there on the internet in all sorts of marketplaces make money. And uh, the first time you see it might sound a little bit of a laborious process, but remember, so much of this can be automated. And with an autoresponder, which is just that system that sends out emails on a scheduled basis automatically you can really set this up and have it running literally on autopilot so all you have to do is kind of work on your traffic strategies uh, to, to create more visitors to go into uh, sign up for your uh, free gift get onto your list um, and, and that trust and that relationship is built with them. So there we go. What I do want to say uh, is just um, a little bit about time management and uh, this is the final thing I'm going to touch on but it's really important to actually decide how much time you have and when you have it. Now we're all different, of course, some people have all day, some people have weekends free, other people just have maybe 30 minutes an hour in the evening um, in the week. Uh, whatever it is, really just try and have a think about how much time you have to allocate to, to starting and growing your online business. The next thing to do is to write a schedule in I recommend 30 minute chunks and uh, this has worked really well for me and 30 minutes is, is doesn't sound a lot but it's actually if you really focus and uh, crucially turn off distractions so I mean Skype, Twitter, email, uh, Facebook, shut them all down and just focus on this one task in hand um, 30 minutes is actually uh, you'd be probably amazed actually how much you can actually get done so what I recommend that you do is actually sort of map this out before you start the week um, uh, just map it out and, and, and uh, know what you're actually going to do so you've got a plan before you do it just to give you an example um, I just um, created this um, obviously just as a hypothetical example but you can see here we've got four days in the week Monday Tuesday Wednesday and Thursday and um, here we're assuming we've only got one hour per evening uh, to actually work on our online business so you can see on Monday we spend 30 minutes trying to find guest posts opportunities on the web and then we spend 30 minutes doing some blog commenting okay and if you've done blog commenting that's a long time you can write some really good high quality comments on some very authoritative blogs in 30 minutes you can do quite a few of them Tuesday we can write uh, a, a, a guest post um, in draft um, also write a new follow-up email so that means another email that gets added to your autoresponder sequence which will be sent out um, uh, after a, a certain period after people sign up to your list and it's sent out automatically okay so once you've done it it's done uh, Wednesday we've got forum marketing blog post uh, writing a blog post and publishing it um, then Thursday we're saying well okay we're going to add some more information to um, our free gift that we're giving away um, as an enticement for people to sign up to our list so you can update that maybe add some more value um, add some images whatever it is um, and also um, the other job for Thursday was find a meetup group to go to okay so on meetup.com obviously these are just examples and yours will be different but I hope you can see if you just lay this out I mean look how much you can actually get done just with one hour a day for four days in the week. It, if you really break it down, turn off all the other distractions, you really, really can achieve quite a lot. So that's it, I hope that helps. Um, I know it's a pretty quick video, um, but I just wanted to do it that way, you know, just to be different um, at this time. I know a lot of the time we go through a lot of uh, the, the detail and the step-by-step -step stuff. Um, I'll write a lot of um, resources that I've mentioned in this video below um, below in the blog post itself and of course if you um, are not already um, on the list then please come over to um, kickstartprofits.com and sign up you can grab my um, free um, book which is 101 profitable niches analyzed and also you'll get on kickstart profits which is the weekly step-by-step -step training uh, that I do completely free and uh, in that in that actually in that course we talk all about many of the different things that we've talked about in this video but in a lot more detail so they're a little bit hazy on I think don't worry this is just an overview video but in kickstart profits um, we actually go through 
um, really dive into the actual detail and the exact steps we need to take to get this stuff done. That's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Cheers.